We're back in the bathroom today, and the best time to accommodate plumbing and mechanicals and HVAC and all kinds of things in the floor is when you're framing the building. You know, when you're cutting floor joists to accommodate these things, that's the best time to do it. The reality is, that doesn't always happen. Plans change, and then we always have remodeling. So, uh, I, this, this video is just dedicated towards cutting openings in floor joists. Contractors are allowed to cut floor joists as long as you transfer that load of the cut joist to the adjacent uninterrupted joists. And that's important. And the reason why we want to do that is we want to make sure that the floor maintains its structural integrity. So what we did here in this situation is we had to relocate our tub drain. And as luck will have it, the drain wanted to land right onto a floor joist. So we had to cut the floor joist out and frame in an opening, what I call a plumber's box. It basically, it's a 12 inch roughly by 24 inch opening that allows the plumber to plumb in the drain and the P-trap, but also get his hands in underneath and, and make those connections. So in order to do that, I had to cut the joist out of the way and install a plumber's box. The way I did that was simple. And what we did was I basically figured out I needed a 12 inch by 24 inch box. I measured back three inches on either side to accommodate two double headers. Now, here's a simple rule of thumb. If you're, if you're cutting a joist and you're less than four feet, usually one header will do, or if you're within 12 inches of a bearing wall. I like to use two. The rule of thumb also says that if you're greater than four feet, you need to double your headers as well as double your adjoining trimmers. Your, your, your uninterrupted joists. So that, that's the rule of thumb in a nutshell. I was well within my rule of thumb here because I had two by 10 floor joists spanning 12 inches, I'm sorry, spaced 12 inches on center, and I was only really spanning 24 inches. So I was doubling up, I was more than secure and, 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 and uh, strong, as strong as I needed it to be anyway. The steps involved were simple. I simple, simply measured back three inches on either side of where I wanted my box to go, drew my line with a square, and I cut that joist out. I used a skill saw, a circular saw first, because it's fast, accurate, and makes a nice straight line, and then I finished with a sawzall. Next, I cut two headers for either side, installed them with joist hangers. I like to install my headers by direct nailing them in every direction and then putting the hanger on. But I will, I will advise you, you've got to put your hangers on loose where you won't be able to snake them underneath because it, it'll, access becomes difficult. Once that was done, my plumbus box was complete, I then decided that I wanted to reinforce the joists working back where I was going to drill a two inch drain line, a plumbing line through all the joists. By scabbing three quarter inch plywood to these joists, I in effect just reinforced them. By drilling a hole through them, I'm weakening them, so by scabbing this plywood, I was reinforcing those joists just a little bit, and I basically scabbed as, as far as I could reach. The floor was open about five feet. I put in, I think it was five foot scabs, or just under five foot scabs. Three quarters of an inch plywood, glued and screwed. You could do them on both sides as, if you want as well, and you'll add additional rigidity and strength to the joist. So by, able, by, by moving the drain as we did, we were able to accommodate this location and the drain on this side of the room. I'm glad we did it. it. It worked out well, and as long as you follow those procedures of transferring the loads with a header, you'll be just fine. Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to be talking about waterproofing the shower walls, installing tile and preparing for tile installation, as well as cement board underlayment and floor heat. Take care. We'll see you later.